What is this? Monty explains the world's anthem. This is Monte Cristo. Riot just dropped their 20. By the way, I fucking love Monty content. I like to watch his podcast sometimes when he talks about uh, all the regions, when he gets guests on, when I'm like eating food off stream. I actually, I actually watch Monty podcasts. 23 theme song for the world championship called gods and i thought it might be fun to talk about the history of the moments they chose to depict within their music video this is some but not all of def's world's appearances for league of legends and it's viewed through the lens of deft play Play the song while Monty's explaining. Bro, it's shut up. Playing Stop against now. against his former teammates. Shut it's up now. It's really fur right there on your screen. Both went to Mapo High School in Seoul, and that's where they first met. And so that prefigures the 2022 World Championship where they meet in the finals. This, I think, is just a metaphor of deaf training. He, of course, is going to be fighting the blue buff right here. But when he looks over, it's going to be Faker fighting the much more impressive Baron. This is kind of a metaphor for their careers because Faker's career came online a little bit faster, even though they were ah. both competing in LCK. Um, Deft was competing on a team called MVP Blue, which was much less successful than Faker. Oh, the Baron in the blue represents the difficulty in like how much success they were achieving. For his first iteration of SK Telecom in 2013. In fact, he famously ah. surrendered in 2013 at 20 minutes in a game to Faker. Now we're going yeah, to, to flash forward a little bit. This is the 2014 World Championship between Samsung White and Samsung Blue. That is Pawn, who is Def's former teammate on Samsung Blue. They swapped at the end of the winter season that year. They swapped mid laners, didn't they? They swapped fucking, what was it, Dade and Pawn? They swapped them and Def lost his mid laner? And even though Deft won two best of fives, he did lose in the semifinals of Worlds. Now we go to 2015 Worlds. When he goes to China, he's on EDG. This is the series in the quarterfinals uh, where Reckless, up there playing AD Cannon, uh, beats them. While uh, to, so Fnatic then advances into the semifinals where they are eventually beaten by the Tigers. Big skip here as we go to 2020 Worlds when he was playing with Doran, who is on Jax here, and they are losing losing uh, to Dom Juan. And this is another quarterfinal matchup where Showmaker and Canyon uh, defeat DRX. Caria comes in at Braum as the last second to try Caria! and get him, but it isn't enough. So Dom Juan defeats DRX in the quarterfinals of 2020 Worlds, and Dom Juan goes on to win the World Championship. Hamalife lost a T1 in the World's Quarters 21, right? Yep. So we get to see three worlds very quickly back to back right there, kind of showing how Def struggles, even though he did win an international title with EDG over uh, SK Telecom T1 in 2015. Didn't show that win, just showed him being instead sad and defeated about his world's run. Now we're going to switch up to 2022, and he gets hauled up by his DRX bros as they enter the arena. Of course, Deft played with Mako on the EDG roster, so we are going to see Mako as Renata Glask right now. What does he rate the song? Deft, I think this course, is like a solid Raven. eight. So this is the quarterfinal of the bracket stage of 2022 Worlds. They take out EDG in a really thrilling series. Then he has to fight Doran, his former teammate. As with the we video. saw earlier, Doran is now on Gen G. Song with Trophy video. was also on both of those DRX and Gen G rosters, but they picked Doran for this, I guess, because he hadn't been seen and potentially won. Now he gets to see Caria again, his former teammate, uh, as we discussed previously, also from DRX. Faker comes in, his former high school uh, classmate, and these are the champions they played in game five of the League of Legends World Championship. And we're going to see, of course, uh, Deft now teleport out with his teammates. This is the composition that DRX used in order to win Worlds. There's Pioshik as Hecarim, Hecarim. And there's Aatrox. There's Azir. Caitlyn shot coming in. You know what would be cool, actually, thinking about it with the video? Okay. What if, like, what if, like, they had some scene in the, in the, in the, in the video where, like, DRX was, like, killing them? You know, like getting kills on T1 and then like Faker and Zeus or something like appeared behind them and then went for like a backstab and then like King and and and, and Zeka blocked it because they went for the back door and then like pushed them back, you know, that would be sick. Right at the end in order to defeat Faker 
and Caria and of course win worlds so what i really love about this is that i don't know why i open my mouth every time i open my mouth it's a shit take worlds in the bracket stage he had to defeat many of his former teammates in order to go ahead and claim that championship so i think this is really well done and i hope you guys enjoyed some of that history You guys just say shit take, Mr. Streamer. The second, the second I open my mouth, the second I open my mouth.